Have you ever had one of those days, maybe you have one right now, where like everything seems to be falling apart? You've tried everything, you've exhausted every option, you've gone to every website, you've Googled it, you've checked, you've called people, you've talked about it, and man, you're just overwhelmed, and you just feel like, man, I can't stop this. Uh, I, you know, maybe it's temptation, maybe it's uh, just something that you're feeling, and something that you're going through, and you're feeling like, man, like nobody cares, and everything's out to get you. Maybe the problem is that you're not asking God. Now, sometimes we'll even say that, but, but no, but I asked God. But, but how did we ask Him? Right? Did we ask Him to do exactly what we wanted to have happen? Because sometimes God answers our prayers and, and giving, by, by not giving us something that maybe we want, but actually would be really bad for us. It happens. Trust me, I've been there. And, and God knows much better than I do what I need and what's going to be right for me, what's going to help me to grow and to flourish. Now the devil's going to come at us uh, with all kinds of things that seem good, and, and we might even take those to God. And, and, uh, but, but most of the time, he's, God is kind of the last resort, and, and we might just kind of say, God, help me. But um, here's, here's David in Psalm 34, verse 4. He says, I sought the Lord, and he answered me. And he delivered me from all my fears. I think that's interesting that, he, that God delivered David from his fears. He, David had a lot of things, a lot of people against him, a lot of battles that he had to fight just to become the king, even though he was God's choice to be king. There were a lot of people who tried to take him out. And so many of the Psalms reflect that battle, right? This wasn't just a figurative thing. This was a spiritual battle. This was a physical battle with human beings and with the, the spiritual realm, man. He, he had it all kind of together, evil in the flesh coming at him. And he's like, so many times he, he sought the Lord. And, and what that means is we just say, Lord, I, I need you. I need you to help me. A lot of times, it might be just me saying, like, I, Lord, I don't know what to ask for. I don't know what to do in this situation. And, and I need you to help me stand so that I can focus on you. And it says that David's experience was that God delivered him from his fears. And fears are one of the worst things. Again, it's, it's such a human element, right? It's such a human reaction to what happens and what happens, though, in that moment, when I'm afraid and have really true fear, I don't think I can handle it. And I, and I almost always, if I have real fear and it's gripping me, and it, that, that fear is going to debilitate me. It's going to shut me down. It might even, like, mess with my faith. And so it's not, it's not me saying, like, God, I want to be brave and I want to be so strong. But it's saying, look, I've got this fear issue. And it hits us, different things make it happen. But, but rest assured, man, we, we all have it. And if you're, you're not alone, if that's what you're dealing with right now, some, some fear, some paralyzing fear maybe in your life. David's been there. We've all been there. But God's saying that he is always with us. He's given us the victory over death and the grave. Right? He's won the, bat, won the war already. We will go to heaven, right? Because Jesus died and gave us that victory. Because he rose from the grave triumphantly on that Easter morning, we are saved. We are going to go and spend eternity with our Father in heaven. What an awesome, awesome thing. Now, let, let's ask God to remind us of that when everything is, is kind of falling apart and, and coming against us to know his faithfulness, that I might know his love for me, that I might know how much he really does care, man, and, and he might be the only one. And sometimes it definitely feels that way. But he's there to show us. So, we just, so let's just ask him. And not just once, but continually. Just, just be in prayer to the Lord, communicating with him what you need every day because he's there to listen and he's there to help us and save us, all right? So I'm Pastor Fred. This is The Follow Through. Hit that subscribe button and share this if it's been helpful to you uh, so that someone else might be encouraged uh, by what this content is bringing to the world, all right? Have a great rest of your day, and we'll talk to you next time.